Hello. Today in this winter, in this cold, I decided to make bada, spicy bada, but I didn't had enough time, so I could not soak uh, dal lentil for two hours and making all this long process. So I decided to make Mysore bada. It's a very simple one. And you don't have to take dal and grind it. But it's a simple process. For this, we need rice flour. Then we need suji and we need all-purpose flour, maida. That's it. And we will mix all these three ingredients in equal proportion. And green chili, curry leaves, and coriander leaves, and hing. And we'll start making our Mysore bada. So let's start making Mysore bada. To have all the three main ingredients in equal proportion. So let's take maida first. This much or take a little more so one and a half of this we have taken meda now we will mix equal amount of suji now let's take uh, suji little more okay. now mix rice flour that is chawal kata you can find this chawal kata in any Indian grocery shop. Now mix salt to your taste. Okay. And mix these things together. And add hing to this. And be careful with the hing because hing is very strong. So do not add too much hing. Just little bit of hing, little more that's it and I can smell hing because it's too strong the whole kitchen is filled with the hing flavor add few curry leaves to this I got dry curry leaves it's helpful for me because I don't use curry leaves very often so I can keep them for a long time I'm adding Three finely chopped green chilies. Now you know how it's going to be spicy. Also add chopped coriander. Okay. Now we need to mix oil to this mixture. Take any oil, whichever you like, vegetable or sunflower, or which one, anyone. So what I will do, I will take one of this oil. So I have taken one and a half of everything, uh, all-purpose flour, maida, and suji, and I have taken almost half amount of that oil. Just mix these things together now to make it a very strong dough we are going to mix water and mix water slowly because we don't want our dough to become very light we want a strong dough so keep mixing water and make a dough now as you can see this dough is uh, ready now we will start making our Mysore Bada I will do one change from the traditional Mysore Bada rather than deep frying these Mysore Bada in uh, lots of oil I will make them in at 250 degrees Celsius at uh, in a microwave oven so that is the only change I am going to make but if you want to make by deep frying just uh, heat your oil to very high temperature and then deep frying them until they become crispy and red yellow red so rather than doing that process I will skip that and put it in the oven at 250 degrees Celsius so I will be little health conscious as you have already seen 
I mix enough oil in this. I don't want more oil. So let's start making my surbara. To make this uh, my surbara, apply little amount of oil on the palm just to make it greasy and take a small ball of our all the the mixture that we have just made and made it round if you can't make perfect round as i can't make it's okay and remember the difference between mysore bada and other bada is we don't make a hole in the bit in between so just put it on this aluminium foil just make a ball and just press it it's like aduki tikki in north india the only thing is we are using rice flour wheat flour and suji rather than using potatoes as they use in delhi and now these mysore bada are going in the oven i have preheated the oven at 250 degree celsius so just put these mysore bada in the oven and i will leave them for around 5 minutes and then i will turn them around and cook from the other side as well